All right, here we are in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to show you how to uh, type on a path and move it in any direction you want, and also um, uh, on the top and the bottom of the baseline, and like basically the inside and outside. You're going to see. Let me just get this path going here. Okay, got a simple little path, nothing special. I'm going to go up here to type, and I'm going to get type on a path tool. Click on here. Now we've got Illustrator's uh, generic text. I'm going to put type on a path like a boss. Why not? And jump this up. Okay. Now I'm going to click off of it. So we have right here this white, the, um, white uh, this blue line, uh, this center line, and then we have this outer line. So this is where your type starts. It comes out of here like a tunnel. This is your uh, alignment. I'm going to show you that in one second, and then this is where it ends. So if you want to move it, you can just click, and you'll see, I'm going to zoom in, you'll see that the little arrow pops up. Now watch this. I'm going to move the type. See that? So we can move it back and forth. So let me zoom out a little bit. Um, okay, there we go. So you're scooting it along. Pretty cool. And then you can bring this back. This, is, this is, almost treats it like a text box. If you've used those before, you run out of room so you can kind of like start trimming off uh, letters like that so this is like the it's like going back into a tunnel it's, and then uh, i'm going to zoom out one more time and you see this little center path these can be hard to find but it's typically like in the middle somewhere um and i also got the little arrow going so i'm going to grab this and flip it down see that now it's upside down back so do that one more time Click. It's this little blue blue line. You can barely see it. Sometimes it's hidden, and yeah, I don't know why it's so. Uh, that's very hidden. It took me a long time to figure that out. <laughs> and now uh, we're gonna go up here to type, and then you'll see type on a path. Now, if you don't have like it selected, it's not there. So this is one of those things that you got to have this selected. Then it lights up. And now um, you do have different. Uh, options here but first uh these are just kind of you can play with this i mean you know like that so it, it they're effects more more or less but let's go to here this is the tough stuff so the baseline is this blue path so right now it's aligned to the baseline if you want to put it on the center of that path watch this you can preview it so now it's in the middle and then you can do a, a descender which is the bottom of of uh letters and this is this is actually I'm going to fix something to show you that. And then ascenders is the top. But um, let me let me uh, watch this change case. Let's go sentence case or title case. That's another trick, by the way. Um, now let's do ascenders or descenders actually. So boom, descender. I don't have any descenders because everything that would be a descender. Oh, yeah, no, is there. Okay. Y and the P. <laughs> I was like, really? Okay. Y and P are descenders. See, look at that. So now it's aligning it uh, with the with the lowercase guys that stick down. Now let's do ascenders. I'm sure you'll uh, be getting where we're going with this. Back to this. And uh, ascenders. So like the T, the B. Boom. See? So now, now we've got it like uh, aligned here. And everything still works. And you can... You can do that. Uh, so this is a very, uh, you know, really powerful tool. Once you, these are all the other ones. Uh, once you get used to this, uh, you can just play with these. Let's see what this does. Oh, wow. Look at that. But yeah, forgot about that. But anyways, there's a lot. Uh, see all these. Whoa. So type on a path. Just get these options going and notice uh, these little guys. Intro, the, you know, the the starting point the alignment uh you know is at the top and bottom and your ending point and then type on a path make sure you have this selected and that's it i mean you should now be typing on a path like a boss sorry for the uh, cheesy analogy there if that helped hit like leave me a comment thanks